but it has the ability to uh, formulate for all ten essential amino acids, and and uh, beyond that's beyond the methionine glycine, right? So we can talk about glycine, valine, histidine, any of those, mm-hmm. and, and do it in a way that is, uh, I'd say, you know, we've done a bunch of math to, and we've anchored it to energy, so the requirements we've made very discreet, right? So. You know, for methionine, 1.14 grams of methionine per mcal of energy. We do that for all essentials. That way, the nutritionist doesn't, there's no guessing about what do we have to feed, right? So we've made it very transparent, pretty tangible, and pretty easy for a nutritionist to make use of. This is Peggy Coffey with Uplevel Dairy, and we're here at Adiseo's VIP meeting, and I have alongside me Dr. Mike Van Amberg from Cornell. Welcome, Mike. Thank you. Nice to be here. And uh, uh, Dr. Van Amberg was one of our speakers this morning, and he spoke about going beyond methionine and lysine and really reaping the benefits of precision nutrition. And so uh, could you just share with us a few of the key highlights from your presentation this morning for those that maybe weren't here to listen in person? Um, sure. The, the, the uh, presentation centered around our latest version of this NCPS, what we call version 7. We still call it our garage project because we haven't really gotten out of the garage yet, but we're hoping to do that soon. Um, and this latest uh, version of the model um, has the capacity, you know, it's a compartmentalized model, but it has the ability to uh, formulate for all 10 essential amino acids and, and uh, beyond, that's beyond the methionine glycine. Right, so we can talk about glycine, valine, histidine, any of those, mm-hmm. and, and do it in a way that is, uh, I'd say, you know, we've done a bunch of math to, and we've anchored it to energy. So the requirements we've made very discreet. Right, so you know, for methionine, one point one four grams of methionine per mcal of energy. We do that for all essentials. That way, the nutritionist doesn't. There's no guessing about. What do we have to feed? Right. So we've made it very transparent, pretty tangible, and pretty easy for a nutritionist to make use of. Adiseo, a global leader in nutritional solutions and the provider of Smart Amine N, the best in class rumen protected meth ionine product for dairy producers who want to optimize milk production, capture more value from their components, and maintain their lifetime performance of their herds. For more product information and to calculate your return on investment when you balance your feed with amino acids, Go to milkpay.com. And so really what you're talking about here is precision nutrition, right? It's very precise. Right? You don't have to agree with it all the time. There'll be times when it doesn't work, right? The model's perfect, but at least it provides uh, a, a direction right? sure. where you can make decisions. And so you're really putting power in the hands of the nutritionist through this model? Trying to. Yeah. And so bring that through to the dairy producers end. What's the benefit that they can get from precision nutrition with this in the hands of their nutritionists? Yeah, well, it, it takes, uh, you know, half of half of nutrition has been kind of like art, right? You don't always have all the answers, quantitative answers, so you kind of, kind of, well, I think it's like this, or I think it's like that. At least for amino acids, we're going to remove the art process. And hopefully what that does is it allows us to either maintain or increase productivity with um, not as much protein, not as much nitrogen intake. So I would hope that we can figure out how to use this to be more cost-effective in diet formulation. And given all the pressure on the industry to reduce the environmental impact, we can reduce, especially reduce nitrogen exclusion. Mm-hmm. And do you think that's one of the greatest, bigger vision potentials of what we do is to really tie this to the sustainability efforts at the farm level? Uh, yeah, I think, it, well, given the current climate, <laughs> not, to, not in a fun kind of way, but um, current climate, yeah, if we can reduce, we can reduce environmental impact, you know, you know, some of the work that's being done right now is all focused on methane. It's really not tangible, right? Um, but nitrogen is very tangible. And that's ammonia production. Uh, that's money spent on with high you know, cost feeds. So anything we do to reduce that, that reduces uh, air emissions, that reduces or improves air quality, improves water quality. Uh, so 
obviously there's a lot of benefits here. And nitrous oxide, right? We forget about nitrous oxide as a greenhouse gas, but the less ammonia, the less you get, goes out the back end of the cow, in the end, the less nitrous oxide is going to be produced. So that's the bigger picture that, yeah, I think that we're so. looking at as well. Yeah. So really, like you said, empowering the nutritionists, being able to drive that to the producer level, and then taking a few steps back and looking at the bigger picture and the bigger vision of the sustainability piece that ties right into this as well. I hope so. I think so. And uh, Dr. Van Amber, you've been in this business a very long time. You've been, uh, I'm sure, knee deep and elbow deep in a lot of different things. How oh, that makes me feel. <laughs> 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 but, uh, but my question for you is when you look at everything you've worked on, all the studies that, you know, that you've been a part of, um, the students that you've brought up and the research you continue to do, of all the work that you've done right now, which piece, uh, which subject do you think has the greatest influence on your industry? Well, I'll try not to draw on too long. I, I would, I would say probably it's the. There's a bunch of things. The time spent with the CNCPS is probably had the biggest impact. It's used to feed so many cats, right? And I never, that was never what anticipated. That wasn't part of some big plan. We just you know, as, as Chuck Schwab said this morning, the original version is you broke it. I ended up in my lap. I did what I did to fix it. It seems to work, right? Now I'm sitting in a bunch of that. Right? So that's probably not going to work. Maybe that's it. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for sure. sharing that with us. And uh, great chatting with you here at Addis Abbey's VIP meeting. And we um, appreciate the conversation about precision, precision nutrition and the greater impacts that you have. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you.